10 tonnes of illegal ivory, ground up and then mixed with sludge to prevent it from ever entering the market. Local authorities today showed they're serious about stopping the poaching and ivory trafficking trade that's thought to kill around 25 to 50,000 elephants for their tusks each year. This is a clear message we're showing today and uh, destroying the ivory we've collected in the past years with our other local authorities, the Dubai municipality, Dubai customs, Dubai airport. So they've helped very much in collecting this ivory and uh, we're crushing it today. Uh, showing the world that the UAE is not going to tolerate uh, illegal wildlife trade. Every 15 minutes an elephant gets killed for its ivory, so I think this is a shocking enough uh, statistic. Uh, if we keep going in this rate, I think by 2020 there will, no, there will be no elephants left. The UAE is not a major destination for smuggled ivory, but is a key location for the trade due to its extensive air and sea trade with Africa, Asia, Europe and the Middle East. Most of the illegal ivory comes from Africa and is destined for China and other Asian markets. But local authorities are getting better at discovering it. Now that the local authorities know more and more about ivory, um, they've been able to catch it. Uh, let's say years back, uh, people were not educated, they, they didn't know about it. We, we don't actually have the elephants here, so it was unknown. Um, but now people are more aware, they know what's going on and they can identify it. But a kilo of ivory still sells for more than $2,000 on the wholesale market in places like China, which is hard for poachers and traffickers to resist. So what's key to stopping the trade completely? If there is no demand, there will be no poaching. So the demand reduction is one of the important issues. And uh, we have this work in, in our office in China, in Beijing. Our office there is working on demand reduction. Uh, to make awareness campaign informing the public that the ivory will demand in ivory will lead to the extinction of elephant and the ivory is coming from a killed uh, elephant. The other uh, point is uh, protecting the elephant in its natural habitat and preventing the poaching from reaching uh, poachers from reaching uh, the elephant. So this is uh, a second. The third is uh, preventing of the trafficking itself. It's estimated that around 200 elephants would have been killed to produce 10 tons of ivory that's being crushed today. It's the first time in the Middle East that such a big shipment of ivory is being removed from the market like this. And it's hoped that eventually the world will see that a live elephant is far more valuable than these pieces of ivory. Katie Fielder, Emirates News.